Flash floods hitting the American Southwest in recent days have shuttered parts of national parks including in Moab and Zion, closed highways in Colorado, submerged cars in Texas and trapped tourists in a New Mexico cave. A young woman remains missing after being swept away while hiking in Zion on Friday. But the destructive deluges have not been enough to relieve the drought and the continued pressure on water resources, experts say. Even strong storms are unable to overcome dry conditions that are decades in the making. Summer monsoons are a natural feature of the southwest and the parched landscapes can typically rely on this annual reprieve. But the intensity between the wet and dry extremes is increasing, along with the destruction that both can cause. As the world warms, scientists predict the effects will worsen. There's a duality in the effect of climate change on the hydrologic cycle, said Dr. Andrew Hull, a meteorologist for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA Physical Sciences Laboratory, noting that the heavy rains and underlying drought conditions exist on separate time scales. It will take a sustained rainy season over the cold winter months to crack the conditions and forecasts aren't causing much optimism for the months ahead. Dried soils are also less able to absorb the added moisture when storms are severe. We are already in a pretty tough spot where we have low water reserves in our lakes and reservoirs, he said, despite the fact that it looks like we have had a small and temporary reprieve because of some active monsoon rains. The rain has also caused widespread destruction and put people in danger. Meanwhile, in New Mexico, officials at Carlsbad Caverns National Park said about 150 tourists were evacuated late Saturday night after being stranded by rising water. Park officials told people at the visitor's center to wait there for hours because of flash flooding. In Arizona, emergency crews rescued four hikers stranded in Sabino Canyon east of Tucson on Friday and helped 41 students and staff from Marana off school buses that got stuck in high water when the storms began to move in. A slow moving storm dumped record amounts of rain on the Dallas Fort Worth area, prompting rescues from the rising waters. A state of disaster was declared in Dallas County on Monday evening after the area got nearly the amount of rain in one day as typically falls over the entire summer. Texas officials have reported a fatality from storms, after a pulling an unidentified woman from the waters. The incident is under investigation but first responders said they believed she died after her car was swept off a flooded road. The severe storms were just the latest to take a toll on the region which produced a major flash flood from Death Valley earlier this month and pushed the Navajo Nation to declare a state of emergency. Parts of Yellowstone National Park are still in recovery from the multi-million dollar destruction caused by record rains in June, and debris flows forced New Mexico residents hit by early-season catastrophic wildfires to evacuate for the second time in mere months.